but the cleanup is continuing at this hour in parts of Northeast Ohio. Yeah, here's what we know tonight. The National Weather Service has confirmed multiple tornadoes touched down in Ohio during yesterday's severe storms, one of which was an EF1 that swept through northeastern Portage County. Now, we do have crews on the ground there right now. Lindsay Buckingham spoke with residents and local officials about the damage they're seeing tonight. But we turn first to Chief Meteorologist Betsy Klink on last night's severe weather. And Betsy, we know that this was one of several tornadoes, it sounds like, that were confirmed in Ohio overnight. Yeah, and it's interesting to note that the average number of tornadoes in the state of Ohio in a year is 19. We are over 33. We have had at least 33 confirmed tornadoes in the state of Ohio so far this year. It's been historic, and this is the damage that has resulted. This is about a 25-foot pine tree, very healthy, and it was clear across the driveway, literally ripped straight up out of the ground and pushed over, and the, the truck that you see is underneath this pine tree was on the other side of the driveway too. Just absolutely incredible. This is one of multiple tornadoes in northern Ohio, however. Bucyrus was hit a couple hours before this tornado came through Wyndham. Bucyrus was also hit with an EF1. As you can imagine, folks are tarping houses, trying to pick up the pieces and, and really assess the damage. It takes some time to be able to do that. So uh, that will all continue to take place over the next days, weeks, and months. Later on in the evening, during the 6.30, 7 o'clock hour, we got into Portage County with this particular tornado, and we were tracking the tornado as it came through the turnpike. It caused some uh, semis to roll over, even jackknife a semi on the turnpike, which is right next to this house, and we could see the debris show up on the radar. That's when we were able to basically on the air say we have confirmed a tornado on the ground in northeast Portage County, and this is the damage that that was doing at that time. It is a surreal feeling to be telling people that their lives are in danger at a particular moment in television and you you just all you want is for people to be safe and thank goodness we did not have any injuries reported despite all this destruction and you can see the path that the tornado took that's farther down toward the other neighborhoods that we've been showing you out here in Wyndham Township so obviously there will be a lot of cleanup that has to take place this particular house uh, this is Dan Harvey's house uh, and it, it was completely pushed off the foundation we're on the back of the house now and you can see the mud that has just coated the back of this house and it's interesting to note because the house was shifted to the northeast but all this mud was slung at it from the uh, northeast so it's basically that twist that evidence of the twist just an incredible scene out here but thankfully again no injuries reported back to you in the studio that is the most important thing but wow to be able to see that Betsy that is something else thank you so much we do want to get to Lindsay Buckingham as well. She has more on how people there are cleaning up tonight. Trees pulled from the ground, a semi truck on its side, and houses with their roofs blown right off. This is what neighbors on Crestview and Parkman Roads in Wyndham are dealing with today after an EF1 tornado tore through Portage County. And then it just started pouring down rain. William Sears was with his girlfriend in their trailer when the storm hit. They went across the street to take cover in a neighbor's basement. Uh, we opened the front door to the house, and I mean, it was just like looking out like Twister. Just devastation everywhere. Including William's trailer. I lost everything. It's all gone. The cleanup efforts have been a steady stream of teamwork since last night. Wyndham Fire Lieutenant Eric Matthews says his department has been working around the clock with local and state officials. Trees down, telephone poles, wires, utility poles, everything. Um, it left a path of destruction. And uh, looking at some of the damage it's done to some of the houses over there, um, we're, it, I'm, it's just a blessing that nobody was hurt. Everybody's going from yard to yard, helping each other clean up. It's, it's wonderful how this community comes together, and it's just amazing. And for William, even after losing his home, the only thing on his mind today is helping others. I put my boots on and tie them on tight and go get this done. See if I can't help anybody out that needs a hand. The damage out here is absolutely devastating. You can see behind me there is a house right there with the roof completely blown off. The siding has shifted. We're also told by one fire official that that house was actually moved a bit off of its foundation during this tornado. A lot of the neighbors are out here 
trying to work together to clean up. The power company is also out here. One fire official told us this damage radius is about three miles and the total, the estimate rather, is up into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. So a lot of cleanup here still, but the support is definitely here as well. In Wyndham, Lindsay Buckingham, 3 News. Lindsay, thank you so much to both you and Betsy. We really appreciate uh, the live updates there. And she just mentioned the organizations that are out there helping. There are multiple agencies assisting people there in Portage County. We know the Red Cross is out there. Salva Salvation Army is as well. Now, the Renaissance Family Center in Wyndham, we want to point out, has turned into a warming center. So that center served lunch and dinner to residents today. It will do so again tomorrow from 1230 to 1 p.m. That's lunch, dinner from 4.30 to 6 p.m. if you are in need. The center will be open tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Now those storms also impacted drivers on the road. Take a look, a new video from Statewide Highway Patrol shows the aftermath of a three truck crash that shut down part of the Turpike in Portage County for three hours last night. Highway Patrol says the crash happened before seven in Wyndham and an initial investigation found a weather related incident caused the drivers to lose control. One driver was injured and taken to the hospital. State Highway Patrol is working to get more details. Well, you can stay weather ready with our WKYC app. You'll get weather alerts and can see live radar, even if you lose power and Wi-Fi. Scan the QR code on your screen for a link to download it for free.